A few days ago, I unlocked a legendary skin. Thanks, Supercell. So today I decided to revisit a brawler who had one of, if not the most controversial gadget imaginable. And I'm sure many of you cringe in disgust when I bring this picture up. However, this gadget has long since been removed, so does that mean Surge is no longer OP? Well, let's find out. Going over my loadout, I'll be using Power Surge for my gadget as it essentially gives Surge a head start and I find it more useful than Power Shield. Next, I'll be using To The Max for my star power because it grants a new way to attack and and also because the second star power, Service Cold, is basically useless in solo showdown. And finally, for my gear, or at least one of them, I went with the shield. So with that out of the way, let's begin. So when it comes to using Surge, his greatest vulnerabilities show in the beginning where not only is he very slow, but his attacks are also very short. As you can see, this is usually where his gadget comes in to either avoid or catch up to brawlers. And once Surge gets his permanent upgrades, he is a complete monster. Now maybe it's just the power cubes, but I found it extremely easy to destroy brawlers within seconds. And sometimes they just run away to their deaths at your mere presence. But sometimes you might find yourself in a situation like this where a piper just keeps shooting you in the ass. Well that's usually where your super comes in as an easy escape tool. Now, in the beginning I mentioned how this gadget not only made Surge OP, but also very hated by other players. And what it did is that it allowed Surge to teleport a few blocks in front of him. It didn't matter what kind of obstacles were in front of him, he was able to get to the other side with ease. So you can think of it as 8-bit's cheat cartridge before it existed. But if you really want to see just how broken this was, then I recommend watching this video by Crying Man. Anyways, going back to Surge's super, I guess you can think of it as a weaker version of El Primo super. Although you can do some good damage with it, I think its other purpose as a means of escape is equally as important. Just make sure you don't get trapped in a corner like me. So when it comes to facing off against other brawlers, in combination with his super, Surge is basically unstoppable. So much so that he's even able to take down Edgar, which is no easy task. And the reason why I think this is possible is because much like El Primo, his super has this sort of stun effect which not only knocks back the brawler but also gives you enough time to attack again. So you can see just how devastating that was, but putting aside his super, Surge's star power to the max is also surprisingly good. Now at first I didn't really think much of this, but the more I used it, the more I realized how useful it is against a brawler who is essentially cornered. The idea is not so much as doing tons of damage, but rather making sure the brawler does not heal over time, so you can kind of think of it as Crow's main attack. So whether you choose to utilize this or not, I think the map design helps to justify this decision. And even if it's not convenient, Surge has many advantages in different ways, and combined together, they can surely help you win a match. So to wrap up my thoughts on Surge, I still think he is a very powerful brawler. Maybe not as powerful as he was back then, but he can definitely still hold his own. I do remember playing him a lot, especially when trying to unlock this skin of his that I believe was part of a brawl pass. Regardless, he is still very good and I actually ended up gaining more than 500 trophies just by using him, so there's that. Anyways, have a good day.